tonight we're gonna talk about the big one with cancer. Going bald, the part we all dread. And when I started this journey, my hair was down to my waist. I was known as the girl with the hair. Um, not saying that in a vain way, but man did I have some hair. Thick, blonde, gorgeous locks of hair. So when I got told I had cancer, and then it hit me, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose all my hair. I have always been known for my hair. My hair is me. You say something about, what do you know about Janina? She's got beautiful hair. I think we all have those vein points that we are known for. That's what I've been known for. So I kind of took a hard hit on this one. So the first haircut, um, kind of emotional, very emotional actually, but not just because it was hair. I had kind of worked up to it and I remember walking into the salon and I was ready and I was like, okay, we gotta do this. I had met with my hairdresser who was also a friend of mine. And we decided the best course of action was to do progression haircuts. So the first haircut when we walked in was progressing from hair down to my waist to hair to my shoulders. And I remember sitting in the chair and had, of course had a glass of wine, because you gotta have a glass of wine for something like that. And I remember when she started cutting through the hair. And it wasn't just hair at that point. I mean, it's the hair and that's a hard loss and that's a hard hit for anybody. But it's that moment that the scissors started slicing through my hair that it really hit me. You have cancer, this is real. That really made it very emotional for me because it was a very, uh, just it was a moment of recognition that this is really happening. After that haircut, I looked in the mirror and I was like, okay, we're, we've made this first step. We, we've got this going now, let's do this. Let's stay positive the whole way. And so, um, got used to that haircut. Then we moved on to the next haircut, which is this one, which was shaved on the sides, long on top. At which point I could not style today because after a couple weeks of having this haircut, the inevitable started happening. It's all falling out. I woke up uh, yesterday, started shedding, had a good workout, went to go take a shower, and all of a sudden I just realized there's hair all over in my hands. And this is gonna happen, you guys. It may happen lightly, it may happen in clumps. I'm not gonna tell you it's gonna be great. I put the brush through my hair and just a lot of hair came out. You know, the first, the first haircut, it was very emotional. Second one, was a little empowering really actually. It was like, okay. It, it actually ended up being the best haircut I ever got. Uh, the second haircut, I'm going back to it afterwards. Never would have thought in a million years I'd be a short haircut person, but even though you can't tell right now because it's thrown in a ponytail, which I hope doesn't fall off if I just pull on it because my hair's falling out so easily, but I love it and I would have never done it. So I'm gonna tell you something. In preparation for going bald, and tonight you're gonna witness, I'm gonna shave my head tonight, but get adventurous. You have no choice you have cancer, you're gonna lose your hair. Make it something fun, make it exciting. And I've had some other girls that I've talked to through this and I've seen some amazing haircuts. So go on Pinterest, find some progression haircuts of things that you never ever would have thought you would have done because you just didn't have the courage to, but now, why not? Why not go out there and have fun, do some crazy haircuts, some crazy colors, whatever, before it falls out. You might actually like one of them. And tonight, who knows, maybe I'll like going bald to be continued. Cheers to all of you that joined me tonight. My friend's here tonight, it is done. So, I love everybody.